Hey guys, it's Joan Rips here, and I'm just going to show you how to play a game of Magic Online. So what I've done here is uh, I've started a constructed extended game, and it looks like someone's joined. Little bird there, I'm the angel, and I'm just going to press the check mark and start. So at the moment, my mouse is going all over the screen, and I'm pressing buttons, and you guys might wonder what's going on. Well, it's important to keep your actions per minute up at all times when you're playing Magic Online. And the reason for that is that it could get crazy at any time. So I like to be at around 200 actions per minute all the time. It can get up to 300 sometimes. It depends what's going on in the game. I've won the toss. I'm going to play first. Um, it's polite to say hello and good luck. Um, you can do it like this. Just sort of click down the bottom. Hello and good luck. I prefer to actually type it out and so you know, it feels a little more personal. I have a key set to just type it for me. Um, not, oh dear. Well, I hope he's not Muslim. Um, there we go. Hello and good luck, Nub. And I'm going to keep this. Spells and lands. And let's go. Keep my actions for a minute up. He's deciding whether or not to mulligan right now. So, the game really comes down to who gets the other person to zero life first. And with that in mind, I'm playing a deck, you know, it's got some creatures with power. Looks like he's taken one mulligan. Ooh, I can do that too. And he's mulligan to five and said MBN, which I think is the name of a television network. And we're going to start with the planes and pass the turn to him. So this is an extended game. I have no idea what he's going to be playing. Could be anything. We've got a dredge and extended, goblins. There are a few fairies decks. Miko Koro, center of the sea, and sensei's divining top. And a lotus bloom. Okay, so there's a lot of artifacts. It looks like probably affinity. I'm going to start with a Kami of Ancient Law. And I'll just put him on a little bit of a clock. That's two power and he has 20 life. So, um, ten turns, and he'll be dead. Oh god, Lotus Bloom's doing, oh, he's stacking Sensei's Divining Top in response. That's always a good idea. You want to stack Sensei's Divining Top weird ways, because then you can look at cards and then dr Well, I'm not sure how it works, but I saw on the Pro Tour that if you stack it some way, you can do something. And what I've done here is I've pressed... F6, and that makes it so it's my turn again. Okay, and I'm going to play a planes and attack. It's a bit of lag on the server, but that's not going to affect my play too much. And Kami of Ancient Law is going to take him down to 18 right here. That plus the fetch land could put him at 17 quite easily. And yeah, it's looking like a pretty easy one for me right now. Cloud Chaser Kestrel, add that to the board, that gives me 4 power. 18 divided by 4 isn't a real number, but it will work. <sighs> About this time you start getting tired, and I'm a little out of shape, I'll admit it. It's, you know, just keeping up this key pressing everything going on at once. You gotta be thinking at the same time, strategizing, and you gotta play the politics game too, because you never know who this guy could be. He could be French, he could be, you know, Indian, Italian, Korean, and you can't offend him. Gotta be nice. Am I playing again later? And here we go. Alright, so I've drawn another plane. That's pretty lucky. It's gonna let me keep casting creatures. And I'm just gonna swing in with the side here take him down to 10, and play an Absolver Thrall, which gives me 6 power on the board. And yeah, I hope he does something. This is turning out to be a pretty boring game. Activating a Sensei's Divining Top again, well, I don't know what he's looking for. 6 power on the board, 10 life, maybe... Teferi's moat would be good. I mean, oh, no, I have an enchantment removal. Hmm. 
honestly don't even know what he's playing yet. Maybe a Wrath of God? Oh, I should have left a creature back in my hand. Well, hopefully you won't have the Wrath. And... I can still win this game. Lotus Bloom is going to come into play, so I bet we're going to see something right here. Could be Dragonstorm.